Hey, what's going on YouTube? What's going on everybody, man? Welcome back to the channel. How are y'all doing today, man? I'm here with one of my crushes. No, I'm, I'm joking, uh, but I really absolutely do love Jim Croce. Uh, so we're back here with some more Jim Croce. Going to be checking out I'll Have to Say I Love You in a Song. This has been suggested, I think, on my last two uh, reactions from Mr. Jim here, dude. Absolutely loving the journey I've taken so far. It's very few steps into the catalog of Jim, but dang it, man. Um, I love this man. I love the music he's created, and it's just so sad to know his story and how it ended so abruptly and so soon, man. Uh, and that's how it happens a lot. You lose a lot of these excellent talents that the world really needed around, and you lose them all too soon. Um, just makes you question why, you know. But here we go. I'm happy to be here. Thank you guys so much for introducing me to Jim and continuing to set me on a path into his music. I really appreciate that. So let's go ahead and jump into this one. I'll have to say I love you in a song. Here we go. I know it's kind of late I hope I didn't wake you But what I've got to say can't wait I know you'd understand Every time I try to tell you The words just came out wrong So I have to say I love you In a song Yeah, I know Every time I'm near you, I just run out of things to say. I know you'd understand. And every time I try to tell you, the words just came out wrong. So I have to say I love you in a song. He's a man to do it. Something that I just gotta say I know you'd understand Every time I try to tell you The words just came out wrong So I have to say I love you In a song sweet and i mean extra sweet <laughs> extra sweet man i uh, love it man uh, jim is not gonna miss with this i can tell uh, i love these songs you know it's just a really good feeling song man just put some happiness straight into your soul and relatable relatable for a guy like me um that if you get time to sit down and think on something you can think it better you can express it better but when you're in the moment, sometimes you can't gather the words to say exactly how you feel, and it's difficult. Uh, and I'm one of those guys that if you're in my company in real life, uh, I don't have a lot to say, right? I'm, I'm that kind of guy that if we go on a car ride, uh, most of the time it's quiet. I don't have, I'm not an extrovert. I'm not constantly out there uh, putting myself out there and being the life of the party. I'm more reserved. I'm an introvert, and I'm quiet. Uh, and that's just the way it is. It's easy for me to do the YouTube thing, I guess, because I've been doing it a while. Uh, when I got out of the military, I, I had like a gaming channel, and then I did some gaming stuff on Twitch. Um, so I've gotten comfortable in this space and being here by myself uh, to be able to express myself a little more openly than I can actually do uh, sometimes when I'm in a, a crowded environment or even to your loved ones, the people that you love the most. Sometimes it's really hard to express yourself. So this song, I kind of get it on more of a personal level um, and I don't know if that's how he meant it to be, 
And I think it was, but I, I relate to it. You know, my wife, I, I can feel so many ways about her, but sometimes expressing it in words isn't the easiest thing to do. Uh, sometimes you're, you're lost for it. So I like the way for him, he uses his talent of songwriting and creating songs to say, I'll tell you, I love you in a love song because I can do that really well. And he does that really well. So let's see, this song was released in 1974. They got the genre as country, folk, folk rock, soft rock. It says Croce wrote the song in early 1973 when he arrived home and got into a disagreement with his wife Ingrid. Instead of arguing with her, she has stated that Croce went downstairs and he started to play like he always did when he wrote. The next morning, he came up early in the morning and sang it to me. Oh, oh the feelings, the feelings, man. Wow. So Ingrid also says, uh, one weekend after being on the road for many months, Jim got a chance to come home to relax with his family. We settled in to enjoy our time alone together. Though Jim was expecting company the next day, avoiding confrontation, he never told me that we were to be joined by an entire film crew. The next morning, 15 people from Acorn Productions descended upon our house to record a promotional film of Jim Croce at home on the farm. I prepared breakfast, lunch, and dinner for the whole film crew, and after the group left, I questioned Jim about our finances. After a year and a half of his working so very hard on the road, we were barely making ends meet, but Jim wouldn't talk about it. He hated questions as much as he hated confrontation, especially about money. He stormed out of the bedroom and went down to the kitchen table to brood. The next morning, he woke me gently by singing his new song. Every time I tried to tell you, the words just came out wrong. So I'll have to say, I love you in a love song. And let's wrap this up before I just break down right here. <laughs> That's awesome. It's wonderful, but it's sad just to think, you know, man... Poor Ingrid, man, and, uh, you know, to lose Jim. That's just, that's crazy. That's so sad. Uh, well, thank you guys for tuning in here with me today on another reaction to Jim Croce. Really appreciate that. I want to get more into more of the live performances with him and Moria. I really enjoyed that as well. So I can't wait to get back into that. If you guys enjoyed this one, please don't forget to like, subscribe. Check out the description down below for other ways you can help the channel. With that being said, I'm gone. I'll see you on the next one, okay? Peace.